looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even old Eggman the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People have been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh, my God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance, and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Do you know 
dirty little angels deserve a good spanking. Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this world. Oh, Radon should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Hmm. Engine still purrs nicely. Now. About this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you! You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Ah! Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What about Eggman? Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes, or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here! Oh, what a day! I'm screwed! Ah! It's gonna take every cent I earned on this charade to pay for the damage. I tell you what, if I can see them bastards that did this to my car, Forget about it. Enzo, 
The road. Pay attention to me. How can you be so calm? You're still getting screwed in all this, too. Of all the low-life scum in too deep in this town, I've never seen one get wrapped up in a fight with God's messengers. He dressed like a nun, too. When you end up in the afterlife, that's not going to be pretty. I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The toys are nice. <laughs> 20 years ago, you woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. All you can remember is that you were a witch. But now, you're stuck because you're gonna sacrifice our halo-wearing friends every day or they'll drag your ass back down to hell. I know, I thought I got screwed, but being forced to slap around the divine for a living? It's really getting screwed. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. I see to the funeral. You get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. Ha 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 ha! Come on now! Look at my poor car! I'm working for free after this! At least let me get a drink at Rodan's before you start grilling me. The info I got is good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear. <laughs> After jewels instead of cash. Just like a girl. <laughs> Jesus! Can't you take a joke? Enzo. Someone's given you a present. Too bad. I can't stand bugs. <sighs> huh? What the fuck?
Those assholes sure know how to get attention. Even perk the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. Human world. Inferno. Paradiso. Who can tell the difference? Even harder with Purgatorio in the middle. Fight long enough in there and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance, right? Even if some of them like messing around with the humans, we've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this, the Book of Revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Heaven and Hell are gonna go straight for each other's throats. Heaven and Hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Something's up. Everything was a bit too racing. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost memories calling you out. I got a little present for you. These babies are special. Built from an alloy the devil himself would kill to get his hands on. Don't break these, cause they're one of a kind. strange offers. Then again, I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me. Maybe I should aim for something a bit more high class. Pounding them down tonight, baby. Not to butt into your affairs, but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be. The guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish a round. Enzo, her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. <sighs> you did beat motherfucker. Ah! So. I asked around, and some whale in Europe is trying to fence a huge rock on the black market. He calls it the right eye, saying it's part of some set called the eyes of the world. Fits the bill of what you're after, don't it? Now, here's the funny bit. The stone passes around the halls of power for hundreds of years, vanishes, and then the black market goes white hot for the thing. But the seller wanted an arm and a leg for it. To the point, no one could stomach the price. So back goes the stone. But not before everyone figures out where the guy is. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy doing this one, I bet. I love sticking it to the rich. Of course, when you do, don't forget your old buddy Enzo stuck his neck out on this one. Slide me a few fuzzles out of the rich guy's pocket for my troubles, right? Anyways, you better get going before the trail gets cold. Off to the middle of nowhere. Paradise of Europe. Vigorous.
to be paradise? Fancy bumping into you here. Out to find some answers about your past, are we? You've quite the familiar face, and using the same powers. But you'll have to forgive me. Do we know each other? <laughs> same powers? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your little dip in that lake has left you a bit rusty. Oh. I've been high and dry for 20 years now. The only rust on me is from the lack of any real challenge. Perhaps you're up for the task. You've already disappointed me. I've long desired, but you've forgotten your destiny and wasted the past 20 years. You're right. I do seem to be having trouble remembering things of late. Would you be so kind as to take it from the top? Two overseers, the eyes of the world. They are the power behind everything. John, as heir to the clan, the time has come for you to prove your right to fight under the Umbran name. You may select opponents of your choice. Then allow me to face the outcast. Then none! Kneeling Kiadagat! The child is of impure blood! Challenging her would be a violation of our tenets of faith! It would not be the first time we faced each other. Chiard? Will you face me in this hallowed arena? Well, if I must. But I pray you've got a little something for me in return. You know, I'm very fond of stuffed animals.
you believe in fate? Fate brought us here together, and it will never tear us apart. <laughs> Sayonara. Fleur de cire eau de parfum. Such a wonderful floral bouquet. With its subtle hints of rosemary. You know, in the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. <laughs> Which doesn't quite equate to you, now does it? Bayonet! Shit! Will you stop that? That little Vagon Enzo was a nice touch. Seeing you here, I suppose it wasn't the only one. <laughs> I'm not your pet. The name is Luca. A name you better remember. Ah! Shit! Damn it! Wait! You can't just run away from me like that! I know what I saw that day! I know all about your kind. Sure, my colleagues laugh at me for chasing fairy tales, amongst other things. But I know they're real. I know the truth. The smell. the same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. Which means I'm right on your doorstep, Bayonetta. I'll let you in on a little secret, Cheshire. The name is Luke. You need to hone your sense of smell, my dear. There's no rosemary in the perfume. After all, rosemary's a demon repellent. You only run away so fast because you've got something to run from. Me! But you can't escape me forever! No time for daydream.
just singing? Mummy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, little one. I am not your mother. But, Mummy... Will you quit calling me Mummy? <laughs> oh. If there's two things I hate in this world, it's cockroaches and crying babies. Well, a crying baby cockroach would be truly terrible. So don't you dare cry. Yes, Mummy. Fine. You've got to be a strong little one to survive in a place like this. What's your name, anyway? Ceresa? You're not from Figrid, are you, little one? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from my house. Well, now, I'll hazard a guess this isn't your home. So what on earth are you doing here? My daddy told me to come here. And whereabouts is this daddy of yours? He was at work, but now I don't know where he's gone. I want to go home. <coughs> I can't just drag you along wherever I go, little one. So you'd better not be getting attached to me. Yes, Mummy? Oh. Come now, little one. I'll help you out of here. But that's all. And you have to promise there'll be no crying. A single tear and you'll be crying alone. Got it? Okay, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> hey! Oh, this is probably how you got lost to begin with. Don't worry, it's always scary the first time you see them. So, where was I? Oh, yes, your kind invitation. I do hope you've prepared dessert as well. What a lovely tea party. And dancing, too. Cereza, my dear, watch and learn. in these heels? I don't suppose I can call a cab to get me to the island. Move along, people! We have an unidentified vehicle approaching. Close the gate!
about? Mummy! Mummy saved us! What? Hello there, Cheshire. Don't you see it? It seems your driving is on par with your journalism. I figured I'd beat you to the island, but the guards had another idea, didn't they? Not really my best plan, huh? You think you've got me figured out, don't you? We journalists have to have some detective skills, you know. You're after a gemstone, and that stone has to be in the Ithaval group building. I'm headed there, too. How odd. You seem to know where I'm going before I do. Yet you don't seem to know how to drive a car in a straight line. What am I? A chauffeur? Cheshire, do you have any idea what prolonged walking in this salty air will do to my hair? Well, I tend to use some product when I go to the beach. I'll take care of our pest problem. <sighs> Wonderful. I'm getting the distinct impression I'm not wanted on that island. But I love it when people play hard to get. went to look for something, that's all. I can't believe that witch, placing a poor helpless child under her spell. If she did anything to this little girl's parents, I swear. <laughs> Mommy! No, no, no need to cry. We'll get you to your mom in no time. Uh, here! Got some candy if you want. Mm. Mm. What is this? It's yummy. I don't know. It's candy. Strawberry, I think. Hey, Kitty, I've got some yummies. Would you like some? Is that cat your friend? Yes, he is. His name is Cheshire. He's cute, isn't he? Cheshire. What a stupid name. Well, so much for taking the highway. It just means we're gonna have to find something else. <laughs> now, all I have to figure out is what to do about you. So, Cerecita. That woman's really your mom? Uh-huh. My mummy is strong, and she protects me from scary monsters. Monsters? <laughs> I don't think you know who the real monsters are. Mommy! Can't 
you see? Mommy's fighting the bad monsters for us. Mister, if you don't open your eyes, you'll miss everything. Look at these. Well, Kitty, what do you think we should do? He's hurt you, has he? Well, we can't be having that now, can we? One of them is an adult, so they should be okay. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. May I have my glasses back? Huh? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Cereza, how did you get such magical glasses? <laughs> The glasses aren't magic, silly. I can see the monsters without them. Monsters? Not quite. So, uh, has Bayonetta, I mean your mom, been fighting these big bad monsters for a long time? Mummy is a witch. 
and witches protect people and are very strong. When I grow up, I'll be strong too and I'll protect my mummy. Wait, you think witches do what? Oh, forget it. No point in arguing with a little kid. I'll manage on my own. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Cease to amuse me, Cheshire. I suppose that's your next target? <laughs> this is yours, little one. You didn't cry while I was gone, did you? Nope. Good. Bayonetta, no matter how I ask, no matter how many times, you always say the same thing. Come now, Kitty. You know it was A all misunderstanding. Just... You're so stubborn, you know that? My father. He was a journalist, too. In fact, he was twice the man I could ever hope to be. He was obsessed with one case his entire career. A case so bizarre it took over his life. They could have made a movie of the details. The followers of darkness, the Umbra witches, and their light world counterparts, the Lumen Sages, controlling everything with a power known as the Eyes of the World. Then, the Light and Dark Clan suddenly disappeared from their medieval home in Europe. You may be familiar with the town. You're standing in it. Welcome to Vigrid. Five hundred years later. Five hundred years? Each clan, working at the behest of the powers that be, sought to lead their fractured world towards peace. They both possessed an eye said to have the power to create history that they used to oversee the world. However, their spirit of cooperation did not last. For amongst them, a pair of young star-crossed lovers conceived a child that sent the clans on a path to ruin. The woman was thrown in jail, and the man exiled from his clan. However, the child remained with the Umbra, raised as a black sheep even amongst the darkness. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost, both clans spiraled into decay. Legend had it that the two eyes could be united to control reality itself. And this legend fueled ambition and desire, leading to a myriad of battles between the clans. In fact, it led to their mutual destruction. My father was mocked for buying such a fairy tale. However, I believed his story. And I believe it more than ever now that I've found you. The memory of the clan lingers on, despite the passing of 500 years. What on earth was my father searching for? And why did he have to die for it? I have to discover the truth with my own eyes. That's why I haven't given up my chase for it. Or you. The head of the Ithaval group, the multinational that dominates Vigrid, recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. If he isn't selling out in the open, it means we're going to have to acquire it by other means. And that starts by sneaking onto that jet. something I am how did you lose it little one do you have anything you really like something really important to you yes this I love 
love it. Where did you get this? You gave it to me, Mummy, for my birthday. When you love something, never lose it. Understand, little one? You must keep it safe, close to your heart. So glum. Something troubling you? Only your constant fretting over my state of affairs. I've no time to play games with you. No need to take out your stress on me, Bayonetta. It's clear you're worried for the girl. she is now my aren't we attached to our precious little one do you like it when she calls you mummy you're absolutely delusional if I leave her he'll never shut up about it and his whining is twice as irritating as anything the child could muster <laughs> you've quite the tongue when it comes to curling round the truth and what about you what are you hiding? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these might mean something to you. <gasps> I've no need for worthless junk. I am well aware of my task, but you have forgotten that I do not need your help. <laughs> with hatred. Accept. 
accept your violent fate. Accept it and earn the left eye. Prove you deserve it. <sighs> Not yet. She isn't ready. Little one, where are you? Little one, can you hear me? Mommy! 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 Theresa! Mommy! I was so scared! No crying. You know the rules. No cockroaches or crying babies. Time to go, little one. Hold on tight, okay? Okay! I'll be right back. entertain your blather. I'd much rather hear it straight from your boss. Who would say Paddy has been cut for long? He would. For the long run, for the long course of the long run, he would have been for a half. For the long day, 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 for the long day. The witch hunts. Yes, I think. King Salman Emad Dilpa, who played Ayadon Kozum, who fired to Kozi, who are on the army, Gelda, who are on the Kaosho.
I have no idea why you would want this stone. It would look absolutely terrible on you. Much too flashy. Welcome aboard, Cheshire. Oh, fucking hell! Mummy! I told you I'd be right back. <laughs> Shouldn't you be, you know, flying this thing? I'm a bit occupied at the moment. Mommy! Well, so much for the subtle approach. We might as well have speakers on this thing blaring Ride of the Fucking Valkyries. Come now, with the IPs. You know, nothing says you've made it in life like a private helicopter. Then welcome aboard Air Luca, Flight 001. This is your captain, Luca, speaking. Fasten your safety belts, as this may be a bumpy flight. going to like what comes next. I hope you know that. Don't tell me. Air Cheshire has awful in-flight entertainment and horrendous food. Think about it. Those things that downed the jet aren't just going to let us land on their island. You think we can just say, hey, we're here, and they'll bring us a cake? Things look good from up here. But the further down you go, the harder it is to not notice the reality of things. Cheshire, look. Oh, I'm looking. <gasps> oh, fuck me. to my fantasy zone. Welcome to Isla del Sol. Island of wealth and power. Jean, if you've made it this far, that should be enough. You're back to your old self. This is where we finish what was started so long ago. The friend of my enemy is also my enemy, be it witch or sage. The Lumen Sages. They were our counterbalance as overseers. Between us, there was a law that was never to be broken. It stated that the intersection of light and dark would bring calamity to this earth. Five hundred years ago, a child was born, in clear violation of this tenet. 
That child was you. 500 years ago. The disaster this caused sent the clans into a spiral of chaos that continues to be felt to this day. You, the half-breed of light and dark, are at the center of that chaos. Allowing you to continue to exist is a danger that cannot be accepted. When the eyes of the world are within our grasp, the power of creation will be awakened. That is why the left eye, our treasured left eye, will never fall into the hands of another. The left eye, our treasured left eye, will never fall into the hands of another. Bayonetta, it is time that this is brought to an end. That you are brought to an end. You. You did it. It is our charge as witches to protect the treasures of the clan by any means necessary. Even if it means burning every inch of this island to a crisp. I'm really beginning to hate missiles. You know, I have no idea what the hell you girls got going on here. But you don't mind if I take this off your hands, do you? Get in, Cinecita. Mommy. <laughs> Time is of the essence. This can wait no longer. <laughs> now it's decided. So it is. The fear is still not gone from your eyes. Fear? The memories you've held for 500 years are the source of your fear. They cloud your vision. But now, you've accepted your fate. That is how you bested me. That is why you possess the most beloved of Umbran treasures. That is why you possess the left I... We fought for this stone, and because of it, everyone died. That gem brings back so many memories.
Do not fear your fate. Stand, Ceresa. Stand and open your eyes. For with every truth, there is another one to be seen. <laughs> Is it over? What? It's not like you don't scare the shit out of me all the time. Cereza! I don't know whether to shoot you, or to take you to Vegas for good luck, Cheshire. Give me more credit than that. If you must know where L-U-K-A Luca is concerned, there's no such thing as luck. Only skill. Expect me to trust bitches. I mean, witches, did you, Bayonetta? How's the little one? Out like a light. But okay, other than that. What about you? You really think I'm gonna let myself be seen in public with a girl looking all beat up like that? Oh. I look dreadful, do I? Huh? You'll have to learn to wipe that stupid look off your face, or I'll never let you keep chasing me around this world. Got that? Luca? <laughs> now that's more like it. Looks like someone's expecting us. Awfully nice of them to roll out the red carpet. Luca, you need to get one thing straight. Yeah, I know. I won't look after you, so don't screw up. I got things under control. Let's go. Stay next to me, little one. What follows those living in the light is nothing but the profound, empty darkness born from the shadow that grows longer as they approach the brilliant radiance. To truly see, your eyes must be open to both light and dark. Don't you agree, my dear child? Little one. 
You've arrived, my dear sweet Cereza. My, my, why the grim face, my dear? As a child, your smile was warmer than the sun. So, you are the last of the Lumen Sages. I am indeed. My name is Balder, but if you so choose, you may address me as Father. There is much you have forgotten. It has been five hundred years since we last met. If your memories were still intact, this would have been a much more emotional reconciliation. How did you get the girl? Where shall I begin? We, the Lumen Sages, and your Umbra Witches have long been the overseers of history, each bearing witness with their own eye. This is how our universes existence was preserved. However, for five hundred years, you have been exiled from the world's affairs. You are the left eye of the eyes of the world. Could you dispense with the riddles and just tell me what these sodding eyes actually are? Your years of slumber have caused you to forget many things, even as we stand on the verge of the resurrection of the Creator. The Resurrection of Jubileus. There is but one way to return your epic of forgotten memories and open your Eye of the Overseer. Your uncorrupted eye had to be exposed to the history it could not see. Ah. Your battles, your struggles, Everything you've experienced in this town has been a stepping stone for your enlightenment. It has all been done for the left eye. I've had enough of your philosophical pretensions. I won't ask again. Where did you get the girl? <laughs> your question has been answered. All this has been done to awaken the left eye. For that, you had to see yourself once more. You are truly beyond salvation, Sage. Ah, salvation. Such a curious word. I marked the path to salvation with light. However, no matter how brilliant that light grows, the darkness within the human heart grows even darker. Light, dark, and chaos between. Three realities, once split, shall be brought together to create a new universe in the image of the old. To these ends, leading to the Festival of Resurrection 500 years ago, I fanned the flames of terror, spurring on the witch hunts. However, despite the people's belief in the return of Jubileus, the Creator, the left eye was out of reach. Since then, I have devoted myself to this town's prosperity, and now it is time for my preparations to bear fruit. Jubileus will be resurrected. We will become the eyes of the world, and a new universe will take us. Puppy! I could never.
call the man behind this nightmare father. Uh, great speech, big guy. Luca. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Big Shot Ithaval Executive? Salvation, light. You take this entrepreneurial philosophy a bit seriously, don't you? But it's all diarrhea of the mouth, if you ask me. History is littered with famous genocidal figures just like you. Or, should I say, infamous genocidal figures. You must be Luca, journalist extraordinaire. I must say, I'm truly impressed you've made it this far, child. Like father, like son, I suppose. What? Luca, Luca, Luca. Your father had problems with my philosophies. It's fine to investigate. But when malicious rumors start to spread, I must see to it that they come to a stop. For being kind enough to ascertain that my long-lost razor was at the bottom of some lake, I granted him his final wish and accepted his permanent resignation. You bastard! I will allow you to die in the same manner as your father. Luca! Well... I guess my plan has gone right out the window. <laughs> Such a shame that sacrifice had to be made. But if destiny is not fulfilled soon, this tragedy will be repeated ad nauseum. Speaking of tragedy, I suppose you've met John. While she sealed you away and kept you from trouble, after falling into our hands, she's been incredibly useful. Although her distinct lack of obedience required a bit of mental reprogramming. Her tragic end led you directly to me, just as well. The time for awakening the left eye is soon. Fear not, my dear, sweet Cereza. Sweet Cereza, do not fear your fate. Stand tall, my child. Realize your true potential. Cereza, <laughs> we are one, my child.
I've got to give you credit, Bayonetta. You never cease to impress. You haven't seen the half of it. I've seen enough. Well, that about wraps it up, huh? Not yet. No need to be afraid, little one. The nightmare is over. Everything was just a dream. You're a strong little girl. There is nothing you cannot overcome. Mommy? Did you find it? What you were looking for? Yes. I found it. So don't you worry anymore. You just keep your treasure safe too. Sweet dreams, little one. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, I'm not afraid anymore, Mummy. No matter what, there's nothing I cannot do. Bayonetta! What's happening to you? And now it is done. The right eye oversees the light. The left eye oversees the darkness. Two eyes to oversee the world. It was never the woman known as Bayonetta that I set my sights upon. It was you as a child. Cereza that I saw, for she was the one who saw the world through innocent eyes, and she was the one who could give rise to a new history. It was her energy that could awaken the left eye. This has all worked out splendid. <coughs> Let us begin, Cereza. The time is at hand.
Now, the resurrection of Jubileus shall be completed. We are the eyes overseeing the world. We are the eyes overseeing a new era, a new reality, to which we will devote ourselves eternally. There's still time. The left eye, our treasured left eye, will never fall into the hands of another. It is the pride of the Umbra Witches. Nah, Jean. You provided me with many blessings. The one and only authentic left eye. Merely seeing it must stir jealousy within you. Your body must yearn to feel a new universe form around it. I have no intentions of gazing upon the left eye. I am here to reclaim my Umbran sister. <clears throat> Jubileus to return. At last, the trinity of realities will know their real ruler, and time will begin anew. Theresa, wake up! Are you insane? Light and dark. Unless both eyes remain, the universe will lose its balance and face another armor. Then this thing should have slept for eternity. Now you must wake up, Ceresa. Ceresa! Ceresa! Damn you! Open your eyes! Jean. Ceresa! You aren't the person I sealed away 500 years ago. You have the strength to overcome this and fight. Finish this. can 
full jubileus now. His power is too intense. Light, dark, human. All the strife, all the struggle. The trinity of realities wrapped up in a vortex. off to get that black cat. Unbelievable. We managed to stop this abomination, and it's still going to destroy the world. John! <laughs> Come. You're one of a kind. If you die here, who's going to save the world? I'll send you home. Even if it kills me. Now, let's finish this. You and I are going home together. John, we're both one of a kind. Now those are the eyes I've been waiting to see. Ridiculous. How do you keep surviving all this? I bet you're trying to sneak up on me right now. Aren't you, Bayonetta?
to eternal sorrow. I am the way well, to a forsaken. No rest for the wicked. But at least she's at peace. Back in the box she came from. And I guess I'm gonna have to find a new racket to line my pockets. No bonus for old Enzo this time. <laughs> As fucking usual. You know how it works with witches, Enzo. They make a deal with the devil. And when they die, the devil gets his due. You get set down into hell and wandering around scared shitless for eternity. Kinda comes with the territory. Why are you telling me this? Is this not why we are standing here? Praying for her soul to rest in peace? I better not be out here catching a fucking cold if these prayers don't mean nothing. It's nice to think your prayers are worth a damn, isn't it? You made a killing exploiting her. Hell, you never know. She might get lonely and come back to haunt your ass. <coughs> haunt me? Hell can keep her then. I said I'd never give up chasing you. I just never thought the chase would end like this. <laughs> Rosemary. You said it was a demon repellent. It might help you on the road ahead. What the hell are they coming down here to get her for? Of course they'd come for the prize they've been seeking all along. Holy shit! You're... Some air holes would be nice. Fewer words are here. Save the chit chat for later. We've got work to do. It has a bit of rosemary. In the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. Suits me now, doesn't it? Let's dance! 
dance, boys.